Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock. Here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy S7, and this is one that is originally from Straight Talk or Track Phone here in the US. And this is a device that does have the Google account lock enabled because as we can see here, as we're going through the setup process, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was reset and to continue, we need to sign in with a Google account that was previously on the device. And so that's basically what the Google account lock consists of. Google added it as a, as a security measure back in about Android 5 or so to help combat some of the theft and the fraud that happens around the buying and selling of mobile devices these days. So when an Android device is factory reset without first taking off the Google account that's on it, it's going to ask you for that account again uh, to log into it as a security measure after the reset is performed. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us to assist them with this specific issue, usually either because they themselves got accidentally locked out of their own account and couldn't remember or recover their login information, or because they purchased the device from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled, and then obviously the buyer didn't have any way to get in because they didn't know the login information and the seller had long since disappeared. So it's a pretty common scam that happens these days. So we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove the lock from this device without having to have the previous login information. It's something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And at the beginning of the video, we had already done 99% of the work. We just had to do one restart to the device, as you've seen here clearly. And now we should be able to see that we can go ahead and get all the way through the setup process without seeing that lock screen. I should mention that this is something that we can do for just about anyone anywhere in the world, so you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect directly to your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we did here. So as you can see here, I'm just skipping through all the setup screens one at a time. There's no trickery involved here. We're not actually signing into our own Google account or anything like that, trying to fool anybody. So we don't need a screen lock. We're skipping that step. And then there's the Google services. We're going to go past that. One more tap. There we go. And then we don't need a Samsung account, so we're just going to skip that option too. I'm not going to restore any data, so we're going to skip that. I'm going to skip that section too, and now I think we should be done. Yep. All right, there we go. We've got the home screen loading up here. We have full access to all of the apps and settings and features, and this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on it. While we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the settings just to confirm and show you exactly what we are working with. So under the About section, we can indeed see that we have a Galaxy S7, and then that model and their number there, the G930VL. That's what you, that's what uniquely identifies it as a model from Straight Talk or Track Phone. And of course, you saw the Track Phone logo pop up on the screen when the device was turning off and on as well. So, if you have a Track Phone or Straight Talk Galaxy S7 and need help getting the Google Lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with, out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. Make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel while you're here, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy. Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up. Y para todos hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching everyone, and have a great day.